Hello, in this video I am going to demonstrate how to derive demand functions from a perfect complements or fixed proportions utility function. Here's a fixed proportions utility function, also again, as I said, known as perfect complements. We got good x and good y in here, and utility is simply just a minimum of ax or by, where a and b are non-zero constants. M is income. P subscript X is the price of good X. X again is units of good X. P subscript Y is the price of good Y. And Y is income. This is the budget constraint. So let's get started in deriving some demand functions. First thing I'm going to do is write the requirement for utility maximization when we're dealing with fixed proportions or perfect complements. When the consumer is maximizing utility, it will be true that A times X will equal B times Y. Let's now solve this for Y. So we're going to solve this above expression for Y. We're going to get Y equals AX divided by B. The next step is simply to take this result and plug it into the budget constraint. So here's the budget constraint. And for good Y now I'm just going to substitute in AX divided by B. Okay. Next thing I want to do is I want to factor out an X term on the right hand side. And we get something like that. Okay, so I just factored out an X term on the right hand side. The next step is Just divide through by what's in parentheses. And you have your demand function for good x. So the demand for good x here is going to be a function of income, function of the price of good x, and the price of good y. And now let's go back to our utility maximizing condition here and solve this for x. If you do that, you'll get x equals b times y divided by a. And as before, we're going to just substitute this result into the budget constraint. So for x, I'm just going to write b times y divided by a. And then the price of good y times units of good y. The next thing we'll do is we'll factor out y on the right hand side. And get something like that. So I just factored out y on the right hand side. And then the next step is to divide through by what's in parentheses. Oops, write it this way. And you now have your demand for good y. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.